what up youtube we are back we are bringing you uh summer slam here and uh yeah watch summer slam this is uh the first match which was uh becky lynch versus bianca Belair. um now the reason i watched summer slam was just to check out what the hell is going on because i'm not an avid wrestling fan i would say that i've you know touched my feet in wrestling you know here and there but i mainly watched uh, summer slam purely going to see what the new direction was uh vince stepping down because of all this whatever's going on and then also triple h now taking over the creative reigns and i like what he's did with nxt and i wanted to see more of that and again superstars will be coming back now because with the uh, vince now gone there's a, a was they like triple h everyone likes triple h and uh yeah this was the outcome anyway this is the first match this was uh becky lynch versus bianca Belair, and uh was okay wasn't the wasn't great or wasn't anything like you know charlotte versus uh sasha banks and the, that that was an amazing match but yeah definitely good um had a little surprise little cameo at the end here uh where you've got um uh what was her name again what was her name again uh bailey she came back bailey with uh and this weird thing with the uh, io sky with this, you know a uh uh, Io Shirai, but I mean they've now rebranded it, called it Io Shirai, um, Io Sky now, uh, not Io Shirai, because it's, again it's easier to pronounce, and I think she's named, it's named now differently. But yeah, it was some weird thing that was going on with um, Corey Graves and the announced team basically saying Io Sky, and I was like, what the hell is going on there? I, I, what's going on? Can they pronounce Shirai? It's Shirai, but yeah, uh, it was revealed later that you know she's now changed her name now, and I've got who's this again? I have no idea this, but I'm, I'm so out of date with wrestling anyway. But yeah, surprise appearance. I mean, Bailey looks like she needs to actually go on a diet. I mean, I'm not liking the way that she looks now. I mean, she's got the whole Victoria sort of get up here as well. But anyway, so that was the first match. Um, skips ahead, you've got The Miz versus Logan Paul. Hands up, you know, hands, you know what? Credit to Logan Paul. Logan Paul, this is one of the best matches of the night. I have to admit, Logan, amazing performer. Uh, Towards the end, you got to see AJ Styles that came back, but yeah, um, amazing, amazing performance. Um, the moves, uh, little fumble at the beginning as well, where when he came into the ring, but I mean, minor fumble, nothing major. But he did absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing uh, in this entire match. Um, so yeah, a little surprise appearance at the end with uh, AJ Styles, um, Trumper, you know, trying to actually uh, get himself. Uh, uh, he got himself basically kicked out of the match and decided not to go anywhere and then AJ Styles came in just to um, I think uh, Equalize the odds, but yeah five star frog splash at the end by uh, uh, by, Lo by Logan Paul, which was um, just was great. I mean, you know, this guy's a rookie, but great performance man all around great performance man You know definitely deserves it man. Great great job from Logan Paul there. Uh, let's go forward here um, So forward. what's the next match on this on the card was oh, yeah, um this wasn't a great match. I mean, pretty basic. Uh, you had like Bobby Lashley going up against uh, Theory. I mean, I don't really like the whole naming ever they've got with just Theory. Austin Theory sounded better, but I mean, I guess they're just going with Theory. So he's the guy who won the Money in the Bank. Uh, I didn't watch Money in the Bank myself, but yeah, he's the Money in the Bank winner. And I think they're giving him this guy a push. I mean, who was sort of like, I would say he was like the uh, Drew McIntyre Trooper O because he had like. Um, Liz McMahon, you know, trying to push through, and then how he's pushing theory. So uh, you know, there's that going on anyway. But yeah, um, uh, obviously Bobby actually won the match, and Davy lost this match. Anyway, next match we had, I think it was like, um, yeah, Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio uh, going up against uh, what's it again? The yeah, Judgment, this Judgment Day. Uh, Judgment Day comprises of uh, Finn Balor and uh, Damien Damien Priest, is it? I think it is. Anyway. So that match, it's a shame to see like Finn Balor being relegated to these sort of matches anyway, man. I wanted this guy to be solo, but I mean, yeah, they've got this whole sort of get up with, uh, who's on the, yeah, um, came to the end uh, of this match. Obviously, uh, Mysterio has won this match, and then finally we got Edge came, comes back. I mean, I like, I like Edge, Edge is great. Love Edge, man. I love seeing this guy back. Um, and then, but the get up with the red costume, with this whole sort of like devil sort of face thing, I'm not sure man, I prefer this guy with longer hair, I prefer Edge with much longer hair. The shorter hairstyle, I'm not sure about how it melds, but Edge is great, I have to admit, you know, cool entrance, and yeah, definitely, definitely was good. Uh, um, let's have a look at, skip forward, skip forward, skip forward. Uh, next match we've got um, 
Baron Corbin happy Corbin versus um, Pat McA McAfee. Um, Pat McAfee did pretty well. I mean, again, another rookie, you know, showing him stuff on the big stage as well. Um, nice little match. Nothing, nothing like major. I think it ended off with him doing uh, a sunset flip sort of uh, and um, giving this guy a low blow. Uh, but you know, skip ahead here. Uh, some of the stuff about last night about what's going on here as well. Go forward. Oh, so so you got next match. Um, the tag team uh, titles. The Usos versus uh, the Street Profits. Again, not not a huge huge sort of. I mean, I do like the Usos. Usos are great performers. Street Profits. I'm not sure about the Street Profits. To be honest, man, they can be good. Maybe they're getting a bit little bit of a push, but the Usos are definitely great. I mean, last. The last things I was watching with the Usos were, I mean, the Usos versus some, what team was it? Was it the New Day, was it, back then? Um, but yeah, I saw these guys doing the, the tag team sort of stuff they were doing. Hard hitting, great technical performers, amazing matches, you know, definitely then. But now, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure who actually won this match. I'm not sure if you play the video, I'm just going to leave it as it is. But yeah. Uh, some little thing he comes out basically saying, you know, about Seth Rollins, you know, obviously, um, He's too, he's too injured to uh, to fight Seth Rollins right now, so he has been medically cleared to fight. Um, so uh, Riddle, Riddle uh, versus Seth didn't actually happen, but they just started boiling anyway. Next match was uh, the SmackDown Women's Championship, uh, Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey. Uh, again, again, you know, I don't mind the, uh, I mean, in court, with this match, I don't really mind the whole sort of like push with the UFC style, Ronda Rousey versus Liv Morgan, but you know what the women's women's division it's not the same man it's, you know you're, you're missing like some real good talent right now i mean sasha banks being out man it's a shame man because you need the boss man you need her to be it's just a great wrestler a great performer uh, but anyway this this is uh it came to so basically um armbar um Liv morgan tapped out referee counted one two three um and then this is shows that he will turn from round rousey so there's that. I mean, again, okay match. Nothing, nothing great. Uh, skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead. So finally, the main event. Main event you have is a last man standing match. Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Again, great. This was actually quite a good, decent match. Uh, they hit pretty hard. You can see they did some good little spots here in the match. And finally, it ended off with uh, Brock using this tractor to lift the fucking ring. Uh, which is a cool thing to see. Definitely amazing thing to see that happen. But yeah, I didn't expect that to happen. But yeah, lifting the entire ring, uh, Roman Reigns falls out, and I felt that the ending could have been a lot better. I mean, it's okay, it was an okay ending. Um, we got to see um, Rome, um, Brock Lesnar throwing, uh, actually F5ing um, Paul Heyman uh, through the announce table. That was nice to see. Um, but um, yeah, um, Roman wins this at the end. Uh, repeated uh, belt shots to uh, Brock Lesnar's head. Uh, Davy comes out, try, tries to cash in, uh, but unfortunately uh, is uh, taken out before he can cash in that. Uh, but yeah, it ends off with um, Roman Reigns winning uh, with the help of the Usos and uh, stacking every single thing that he can on top of uh, Brock Lesnar so he doesn't get up. I would have thought that towards the end, um, maybe them intervening would have made the referee just stop counting uh, because obviously you know they are sort of pinning him to the ground but yeah that was summer slam in a nutshell um that's what happened uh and uh, it was a good event i mean um hopefully going forward and i'll check out the next pay-per-view i want to see exactly what sort of direction i mean especially with like triple h now um le you know being in charge of creative and doing what he's doing and i want to see more of that maybe more technical wrestling uh, a, a great performance maybe and uh yeah that was summer slam this has been Ace. Hope you uh, enjoy my little recap of what exactly I witnessed and what I thought, and my views, my everything. Baby, anyway, this is me, Ace. See you guys next time. As always, Ace out.